All right, welcome back guys. We're going to be solving the question 39 from the second chapter of the Merriam textbook and we have 34 P that is applied perpendicular to the portion BC of the bent bar. We need to determine the moment of P about point B and point A. So as always, we're going to start with our 2D shortcut where we have X and Y components of the force P. But let's start with the moment of force about point B. And if we look at that, we'll see that we have the perpendicular distance from B to C. So basically, we have force times the distance, which is 1.6. And as we can see, the moment is clockwise. So we have a negative sign in here. And we know this force P is 30 Newton. So basically 30 times 1.6. And that's going to give us minus 48 Newton meter. And the negative sign shows that the moment is clockwise. And that's the moment about point B. So if you want to go with the moment about point A, so obviously we don't have that vertical distance to the line of action. So the distance that we are interested would be this distance, which we need to figure out. But since it's easier to go with the X and Y component of the force, let's call this one X and Y. And we know this angle right here is 45 degrees from here. So if that's the case, it's easy enough to find X and Y components. So this will be 30 times cosine of 45. And the other one will be 30 times sine of 45. So let's find a moment about point A. Again, counterclockwise positive. So let's go with the... 30 cosine of 45 component first as we can see the moment is this direction so clockwise negative again so that's the force and the distance is what we have from here to here which is 1.6 plus this distance here which will be 1.6 sine of 45 degrees and we have the moment of the 30 sine of 45 degrees component and for that one we have to find this distance which is basically 1.6 cosine of 45 degrees so if we calculate these two we're going to get minus 81.9 newton meter and again negative sign shows that the moment is clockwise and that would be the answer for the second part of the question where we needed to find the moment about point A. So yeah, that would be all for this one. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like and comment, and let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to drop it in the comment section. I'd be happy to answer those. You guys take care and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.